Hello everyone, my name is Ivo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. I am so glad you joined us today because on today's show we are going to make a special treat which is easy to do and delicious. It's called pizza frita, also known as fried pizza or fried pizza dough. Easy to make, spectacular results. And it starts with a dough. And you look at this dough here. I started this dough earlier. And if you haven't seen, this is my simple uh, same day uh, dough recipe. I'll put a link in the description for you. I've got a game changer, what I call a game changer pizza a video. And in that game changer uh, video, I make this beautiful, beautiful pizza dough. So whether you start with your own homemade or store-bought dough, all you need is pizza dough. Let's get started. So we're going to start by putting some oil in a frying pan. And as you could tell, that's all I ever use this particular frying pan for is for this type of frying. Any kind of frying or deep frying, I use this particular pan. It's always nice to have one pan dedicated for that sort of thing. So I put in about, it's not going to be a deep fry, but a semi deep fry. So I put in about a quarter, oh, I'm going to say a quarter inch of oil and I'm going to put the heat on medium high. Now let's get this dough. I'm just going to flour a surface here just a little bit so it doesn't stick. All right, let's take our dough. Oh, look at this dough. I just love this simple same day recipe. It comes out amazing every single time. All right. So there's our pizza dough. You're not going to believe how easy this is to do. And the results are nothing short of spectacular. Okay, and I really mean that. <laughs> it's just really good. All right, so with this pizza dough, all you need is a little bit of dough. So let's start with, that's about, oh, the size of an egg, I guess. And all you do is just with your hands, just stretch it out. And you're going to end up with piece of dough really thin stretch it out nice and thin and you want it to be oh, about five inches around I guess about the size of a, of a of a donut thereabouts okay there we go there's one that one's ready to be fried let's just check our temperature and see how we're doing here I'm gonna comment a little bit about the temperature as well so again let's cut ourselves another piece just a small piece Again, about the size of an egg. You could make these as large as you want or as small as you want, but if you make them large, what I would recommend is right in the middle, just poke a little hole, kind of like you would with a donut, just to make sure that these larger pieces cook up properly. Okay, and it doesn't matter what shape you end up with. As long as they're a thin piece, you're, you're good to go. Let's get another one going. Let's see our temperature. 237. So I'm going to bring it up to around 350, 360. Now here's the thing when, when you go to fry these. You do not want to fry these on an excessively hot heat. So I'm going to probably cook these on medium. If the heat is on high and the oil gets really hot, then what happens is uh, you'll end up getting a dark, more or less burnt um, pizza dough, and you don't want that. You want more of a golden brown color. So you definitely don't want your oil to be too, too hot. In fact, even 320, 330 is good enough. Okay, so there's three of them I've got. Let's cut another one here. So as the, now the oil I'm using, I'm using grapeseed oil. Uh, you could use any vegetable oil you want. Uh, my preference is grapeseed. Uh, then I like sunflower. And other than that, it would be just regular vegetable oil. But of course, you could also use canola if you want. Um, but I find that grapeseed oil uh, works the best. Okay. Okay, having said that, it works the best. However, <laughs> Vegetable oil or sunflower oil will also do a very good job. All right, so. Okay, we're at 350. I'm just gonna drop it down to medium heat. And, oops. Let's just drop that in. Okay, there's one, two, 
three and four. I'm going to start getting another one going. And I could tell you, growing up, anytime my mother used to make these, we were all over them. We would be eating them just, they were so good. And now as an adult, I get to cook them anytime I want. And I do make these regularly. And I'm going to tell you, you could, um, you could serve these with dinner if you want as uh, a form of bread. You can eat them as is for lunch. That's not a problem. Um, there are, I mean, you could even have it for breakfast if you want. Uh, in fact, I'm going to talk about how we're going to season these. The way I like to season them, the traditional way, is just with salt. So all I'm going to do is sprinkle some salt on these. However, if you like to try this, a sweet version, uh, then what you can do is sprinkle some icing sugar, you know, the white powdered sugar. Just sprinkle a little bit of that on top of this uh, fried dough and you'll have an amazing sweet, uh, sweet pizza frita. The other option, if you want to have these for breakfast, you could also serve them with maple syrup. So you've got plenty of options. Now, I've got it on medium. I'm just going to, I'm not going to go medium high, but I'm going to go close to medium high. And you're going to see when I flip these, uh, they're going to be a nice golden brown color. That's what you're looking for. Now, if your oil's too hot and you happen to make them and they darken up on you, that's quite all right too. They're still going to taste fantastic. And you can see how the dough is bubbled up from when I first put it in. It's bubbling up nicely and it's going to be nice and airy on the inside, which is absolutely perfect. Okay, so while it's frying, that's the other beauty. You can continue to make them. And how long does it take to fry? Well, a few minutes on each side. And again, it depends how hot you have the oil and how big your pieces of pizza dough are. The smaller they are, the quicker they're going to fry up. Okay, you can see it's starting to get golden brown, and that's that's really what you're what you're looking for. Uh, now you also notice because of the puffiness, uh, it's white on the uh, in the middle. That's perfectly fine. It's still cooked. It's just not golden. So I'm gonna let these cook just a little bit longer and get that nice, little bit darker golden brown color. Meanwhile, I probably have room for one more right there. In fact, I do. Just drop another one in there. There we go. All right. These original four can be turned. That's the color you want. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, and they're all kind of white in the middle. Look at that. Look like, uh, look like little swimming pools in there. Okay. Uh, and that one I just put in. Let's get another one cut and going. These are going to be so tasty. I am really looking forward to having these. And I'm just going to salt them. That's all I'm going to do the traditional way. And uh, I absolutely love that. Now that is absolutely perfect right there. That is ideal. Same with this one. So that is perfect. If my nephew Antonio were to be here, he would even be happy with these ones. <laughs> Look at that. That is perfect. That's what you're looking for. That nice, relatively, I'm going to say on the darker side of golden brown. Okay, not, not burnt, but dark golden brown. Let's see how this one's doing. Okay, that's perfect. And we want to continue to add more as we go along. Okay. It, as you can see, the frying has caught up to me. I was ahead of the game and now I'm behind. That's all right. These are quick and easy to make. Almost overdone. See that? That one's a little bit darker. Okay. So the oil must be getting a little bit too hot. I'm just going to back off on it just a bit. So I'm just slightly above medium heat on my particular stove. This one looks like, yeah, that could turn, that could turn, that could turn. That one's a little bit lighter, but that's still okay. Let's get another one going. Oh, 
this is you know what this is also fun to do if you ever want to get children cooking in the kitchen this is an easy thing for them to get involved with and to help you with and then as you take them out let them cool and they can taste them and eat them they'll be excited okay again that one's done nice nice color this one let's see okay light golden brown but still good enough dark enough and this one same thing perfect now if you have a side burner on your barbecue this is also a great thing to do while you're out on the deck or outdoors you got some people over you can be frying and serving as you go along uh, you'll make your guests very very happy i can assure you <laughs> these are really good eating and we're getting down to the finale <laughs> can't wait for the taste test so the oil i did it was about i'm going to say a quarter inch it's about a quarter inch thick the oil so it's 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 just enough that it's gonna cook it all around this is that one that was a little bit bigger i could have probably put a little hole in the middle of this one uh, it's on that cusp of being you know too big but not quite <laughs> okay let's see oh look at that that's perfect you know what I'm gonna shut it down. Look at that beautiful plate of pizza frita. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just need to, I need to season those up with a little bit of salt and let's do the taste test. Take a look at those. That right there is absolutely beautiful. These will all be gone, trust me. Between Laura and I, they'll be gone. I can't wait, let me dig into one. A Little bit of salt. So you salt to taste, that's all you need. And it's just pure, simple deliciousness right there. Mm. Oh my goodness. Whether you have these as a snack, or with the dinner, or with the lunch, or as I mentioned earlier, if you like them sweet for breakfast or early in the morning, however you'd like to do them, you need to give this recipe a try. If you've never made them before, you're in for an amazing treat. They are fantastic. I want to thank you for joining me on today's episode of Cooking with the Koyas. And until next time, bon appetito. You know what? These might not make it till dinner time. Really can't stop eating these. So good.